Hi, Dare to Be Artsy friends. This is Michelle Houghton. I'm going to be doing a little Copic coloring today on one of the new Dare to Be Artsy stamp sets. Um, this is part of the Paisley Peacock series, and I am going to color up the peacock. And I am using a photo that I found just on line as a photo reference just to give myself kind of that reference for colors so I looked one up and of course online you can find anything you want these days and I found a peacock photo that I like that's really clear and bright and then I'm using those co photo colors sorry just as a basic reference Obviously, the graphic little stamp that we're that I'm using is not have all those pieces, so I'm doing some testing, and I'm gonna kind of pick and choose where I put some of those colors. But it's gonna have some of those pieces, those bright blues and vivid greens, to show off that it's a peacock. So I'm gonna start on the head and neck with those bright, vivid blues. And I'm starting with the B16, and I'm gonna base that whole area in that. The next color I'm using is a B26. So I've stepped up in saturation, so you're gonna see a color difference. It's not so much value, but saturation that's gonna change on this one. Um, but it is deepening the look of that and adding some shape to that um, peacock. And then a B39 is going to finish that off. I'll do a little blending by going back through my B26 and B16. Next is some of those greens, and I've got a G02 that I'm starting with. The G0 series is really kind of really soft greens, so um, they were going to work really well for this, and you're going to see I'm going to move from a green into a blue-green. So I'm going back and forth kind of debating what's going to be what color. The G06 is next, so staying in that zero range but jumping in value and then I'm switching to a BG18 and that's going to add that hint of blue in there that I feel like we can see in some of those um, greens that are on the peacock and going back and blending. Then I'm adding more blue so this is the same series I'm going to work for, through B16, B26 and B39 on the wing. Next, I'm going to use a series of E7s for um, some of the details, just that top edge on the wing and that body or that underside. This is going to have that earth tone that you see on part of the peacock. And um, I've started with an E70, and I'm going back in with an E71. 
And this area, I'm not going to do any blending. I'm literally going in and adding little scoops under those scallops. So as I work up through the E74 and E79, you're going to see me, or E77, sorry, you're going to see me hit those bottom ones a little bit more heavily, meaning doing more of those scallops near the bottom and fewer as I go up higher on the bird. Next we've got the beautiful tail and I'm going to start with a YG01 right down the center and flicking out from that center onto those individual feathers. YG06 is going to come in kind of at the bottom edge or center of each of those feathers. It's not super important, but I'm using that tiny, tiny tip of my brush nib and I'm kind of flicking single lines out. So I'm kind of going along that center edge if I can of those feathers, but if it ends up on like a bottom edge or a top edge, that's okay too. It's not, no one's going to look closely enough to really know the difference on this. From the outer edge of the feathers, I'm bringing back in that G02. That's going to cool it down because now we've got more blue in it. We've left off the yellow. We've just gone to a green. And I'm flicking from that outer edge of the feather inward. Again, I'm not going to blend here. I'm going to leave these. And because I've done such a light touch, flicking out and flicking back in, and these are so similar in value. They're going to actually kind of do some of the blending on their own and they're going to just look really nice together. So this next step is what I would call an artistic license step. I want to add one more touch that makes this even more of a peacock. I am pulling over my B26 and I am adding the eye that you would see on a peacock feather into each of these feathers. This is completely a touch that I am adding because I think it's kind of a fun detail, but it's one you certainly do not have to add and always you can color these how you want, but I call that your artistic license. This is where you get to say, what do I want this to look like? What are some of the fun details where I want to make it my own? So make sure always to use your artistic license when you are creating your own projects. Last, we're going to put some details in with an E71 and an E49 on the beak and on the eye. I know I'm going to actually um, use this little sentiment, the um, just for you. So I am going to touch up that little flower with a YG01, YG06, and BG18. I'm going to finish up this card by fussy cutting out my peacock and kind of trimming down that sentiment. And you can see that here in just a few minutes. I sure appreciate you guys stopping by today to take a look at the video. If you haven't had a chance, you can find more of my Copic coloring over at um, Copic in the Craft Room. Or you can get there from my blog, my personal blog, which is www.scrapweaver.com. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. We'll try to get those answered for you as quickly as possible. And from our team here, we dare you to be artsy. Have a great week, everybody.